Hi, this is Worth Godwin, worthgodwin.com. Plain English Simplicity for a Complex Modern World. In this video, I'm going to share with you how to cut, copy, and paste. Now, there are plenty of people who know how to do those things, but those who do know how to do it are not always doing it in the most efficient and quick way of doing it, which is with the keyboard. And a lot of people, a really surprisingly large number of people do not know how to do it at all. And some people don't even know what it actually is. And so we're gonna go over how to do it, how to do it on a Windows machine, how to do it on a Mac, and as well as how to do the same steps on a mobile device, including iOS devices like iPhone and iPad, or Android devices, phones, tablets, and so forth. And the steps are pretty much the same. There's with slight differences, and we're gonna just take a look at it. Once you watch this and practice the steps, because that is, of course, very important, then you'll have a skill that will save you time and make your life easier. And basically, it'll know something that a lot of people, surprisingly large number of people, actually don't. So let's take a look. Okay, so first off, let me just quickly define a couple of terms here just to make sure everybody's on the same page because that's important. So cutting, copying, and pasting, these terms come from traditional publishing. And if you were publishing a newspaper or a magazine, traditionally one would have to take a physical pair of scissors and you might have like a logo or uh, like an ad, an image or what have you, and you would cut that out from where it was originally printed and then you would take paste and paste it onto a piece of paper. Fairly straightforward and obvious what those, what those terms mean and where they came from. Now there's one other thing that uh, when you're copying and pasting or cutting and pasting, uh, first off there's a distinction between cut and copy copy makes a duplicate of it and leaves the original where it was and allows you to paste multiple copies of something. Think of like Xeroxing something or using a, a home um, combination printer copier where you can copy something. And cutting, the distinction is that you're removing the original item. Now there are some exceptions to that and I will show you exactly what I mean by all that in just a moment when I'm actually demonstrating for you. But the one other term that I want to explain is something called the clipboard. And when you are copying or cutting something, before you paste it, it is temporarily placed in a special part of the computer or mobile device's memory called the clipboard. And the clipboard, it just gets its name from one of these things. And it's got a clip at the top, and you use it to temporarily hold a piece of paper or multiple pieces of paper, and you carry them somewhere so they don't get lost. And that's basically what a clipboard is on a computer or a mobile device. It's just a temporary spot. And the clipboard temp typically, in most cases, it only holds one thing at a time. So if you copy some text, or an image for that matter, because you can do that a lot of times too, which we won't be covering right now, but if you copy something like, like text, words, and then you paste it, you can paste it as many times as you want, and it stays in the clipboard, but then if you go and copy something else or cut something else, that replaces whatever is in the clipboard. So it only holds one thing at a time, which is important to remember. And the one last thing I need to show you to make sure everybody's on the same page before we see the actual steps of cutting, copying, and pasting is the keys on the keyboard that you're gonna be using. Now on a Mac, you're gonna use a command key, and you can see in the image we're looking at right now, the command key is on the keyboard, and depending on which keyboard you're using, it's either on both the left and the right of the space bar, or it might be just on the left-hand side of the space bar. And it looks like this. Now, on a Windows computer, you do have a pretty large variety of keyboard designs, because unlike Apple, where they make all the computer, the keyboards and all the parts themselves, uh, or they produce them anyway, um, the Windows machines tend to have, be made by a wide variety of manufacturers, and so they don't look all exactly the same, but they're still gonna look pretty similar to what you're seeing right now, which is in the lower left-hand corner, you will see a control key. And control on a Windows machine does the same thing as command on a Mac does, and vice versa. And the control key is, again, 
depending on what size keyboard you're using, it's either going to be on the left side of the keyboard or both on the left and the right side next to the space bar, a couple of, space, a couple of keys over. And again, you can see it in this image right now. And so these are what are called modifier keys. And if you watch the lessons in Module 2 of the Basics course for Windows or the Basics course for Mac, you will see a little more in-depth lesson on how to use modifier keys, which are very important and useful things to know about. But basically, you just hold the key down and then you press another key and release both. Is how you use any of the modifier keys. So let's go on and let's take a look at the actual steps of cutting, copying, and pasting. And on a Windows machine, on a Mac, they work the same way. And then we'll look at it on a mobile device.